Hi, I'm Mitch Mitchell. So I want to start off with a little story. Back in the mid-80s, we had the movie E.T. that came out. Now I got to tell you the truth. I thought at the time that it was a kid's movie. And I was in my mid-20s, so I had no intention of going to see it. And I didn't go to see it. But I kept hearing all these great things about it. Oh, people were just lauding this as the best movie ever. And at a certain point, it came on TV. So I watched it. I think it was HBO because back then, you know, that's what would happen. A movie would be out for a while, then it would show up on HBO. And so I watched it. And I hated it. I absolutely hated E.T. And I wondered, what the heck is wrong with this movie? Or is there something wrong with me? What are people seeing that I'm missing. So I put it out of my mind. And then maybe four or five years later, it came on TV again. And for whatever reason, I guess maybe I decided to punish myself. I sat down and watched it again. And I absolutely loved it. I was thrilled. I said, wow, this was really a great movie. What was wrong with me the first time? And I think that there's two things that happen every once in a while. One, everyone else builds something up in your mind so much that there's no way your experience can live up to that. I mean, I know there's a lot of marketers who say that it's best if you hear from your friends how much you enjoyed something because then you're due to like it. No, <laughs> just in the truth. But there also is part two, which is sometimes you're not ready for something. Uh, there's a book called Illusions, and my friend Kelvin uh, is one of these guys who he buys a bunch of these copies of this paperback book called Illusion and he gives it to people every once in a while. This is Illusions by Richard Bach in case you're thinking about go, going to read it. I hope you do by the way. The first time he gave it to me I hesitated then I read it. it meant nothing to me. I, I, I could have cared less. A few years later uh, I was going through some different mind changes on stuff and I decided to read it again, and the second time I got it, and it meant something to me. And I appreciated it, because I wasn't ready for it the first time. I wasn't into, quote-unquote, self-help. I wasn't into things like The Secret or What the Bleep. I wasn't into motivational stuff at that time. My mindset wasn't there. And it was sometime, you know, some period around the time when my dad was sick and then my dad passed away. So I just wasn't ready for the book at that time. But later on, I was open. And because I was open, I actually enjoyed it a lot. So we have to be cautious sometimes when we hear what other people are saying. This is one of the reasons why if it's a movie that I know I want to see, most of the time I want to see it on opening day. Or at least I want to see it within the first few days before I've seen any reviews about it whatsoever. So that no one else's experience will mess with my own experience. Other movies, you know, that's just how that is. So I started with that because there is something that I have been wanting since Thanksgiving. I just couldn't get it. And it was driving me nuts and driving me nuts. And I just couldn't get it. And so... I now have it, and I'm going to share it with you. And I hope you can see this. This is the Patty LaBelle Sweet Potato Pie. Are you kidding? These things ran out because a couple of people online did reviews of this pie and said it was the best pie. It was better than their mother's sweet potato pie. Well, I'm going to tell you what. My mother made a great sweet potato pie, and it's been, God, at least a decade or more. It's been more than a decade since my mother has made pie. So I'm going to have this sweet potato pie. And so many people built this thing up to be absolutely fantastic. And I'm hoping, since I've been waiting to get it for three months, that it doesn't uh, ruin my experience. Now, right now, what's ruining my experience is trying to figure out how to open it <laughs> because I got to get it back in this box. One of the things is I just bought it today and Supposedly, it's best if I eat the entire thing in two days. And that woman I'm married to has already told me, don't even think about trying to eat the whole thing in two days. So, let's see. So, there it is. And I can't really smell it. Uh, probably because it's easier to smell sweet potato pie when it's still warm. And I'm just eating it straight. So, I haven't, not, I haven't warmed it up. I haven't put it in the refrigerator. I'm eating it just straight. And I'm going to cut myself a relatively small piece for me. <laughs> so I'm cutting right now. 
Uh, ooh, well, you know, I like the way it cuts. I've heard nothing but wonderful things about Patty LaBelle and how she uh, bakes stuff in her recipes. So, we're going to find out. This is going to have to go a long way to be better than my mother's. But you know what? If it's good, that's okay. And you know what? As much as I've clamored for this pie, this was, what, $2.99 at Walmart? Are you kidding? Just $2.99? So, you know... If this is good, I might head back on a better weather day because right now we're kind of having a winter storm. It's snowing, it's raining, and there's ice. <laughs> so this is what Central New York's all about. Anyway, I got my piece of pie. Boy, you can't. There it is. There's my piece of pie. Let's go. Let's try this. Okay, I'm not going to lie. That's good. <laughs> that is really good. I don't know that it's better than my mother's. But then again, I'm going off an old memory. And I always love mom's sweet potato pie. But this is really good. Oh, my goodness. This is right on point. And, you know, people try to compare sweet potato pie with pumpkin pie. Uh-uh. No, nah, not even close. I hate pumpkin pie. But this? Mmm. Wow. Okay, this lived up to the hype. This really did. Now, for those of you who've never had sweet potato pie, it's creamier, it's sweeter, it's smoother, and it's dense. I mean, you know what? This little thing is heavy. So I'm not going to be eating all of that in one sitting. I'm not even going to come close. I might have to cut it into slices and put some in the fridge to make sure that it lasts a while. But I'm glad I bought this. I'm glad to find out that it has lived up to the hype. Finally, something lived up to the hype. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Do people sometimes ruin things for you? Or do you count on your friends telling you how things are? Or do you read reviews of things telling you how it is? And let that encourage you to say, okay, I need to go see this. And when you do, do you enjoy it? Let me know. I'm Mitch Mitchell. Y'all take care. I'm going to eat the rest of this pie. <laughs> Enjoy. Bye.